welcome back with another video. I'm going to be installing the crossbars on a 2010 Honda Pilot. Okay, I just uh, received these from Amazon. I got everything opened up. So, what we do here is you got a double hole would go on one end like so and then this one just has one adjustable hole so you could slide you could slide this up and down if you need to adjust it to fit on top of the roof so now I'm going to install these screws with the washer I'm going to leave these a little bit loose so if it's tight to fit and slide into the roof rack I could adjust it guys here's a view of the top of the car now if you look here right here is how you would take this cover off you stick something in here pop it up second here yeah you get the screwdriver in here in this groove and just slide it along popping it up like that and now I'll go I'll take this side off and I will go get one of the crossbars and try to slide it in there just to give you an idea these clips are gonna go on the crossbars and this is how it actually would hold it in. They'll be on the crossbar rack. And then this, you would just slide it. I'm just showing you without the crossbar just to give you an idea. And you would tighten it. So this got to go into the crossbar rack like this. I will show you. Okay, so here is the crossbar. The piece that I was just showing you, you'd put this in here, and then you take this, like so. Oh, it fell out. I'm going to set this fan down a minute, and I'll show you once I put it in. But this is going to go slide down in here and screw on. Okay, I have these two in right here. I'm going to do the other ones now. Okay, guys, I've got everything put together here. Now we'll go try to slide them on the roof. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick these up. We're going to line them up and slide them into this track here. Try to do the best I can because I am the cameraman. Okay. Here we go. Camera fell down, but so I got one, one section of it in. I have to try to slide it up and get this one in there. But I got it started. And then we'll just slide it up to where, where we want it to be placed in order to put our luggage thing on here, the, the luggage rack. So I'll try to get this in here. It's a little tight. There we go. This side. There we go. Move this. Let's get that screw out of the way. Okay, put this back. Okay, there we go. 
Look, we got that in there. Gotta get this side. Oh, the screw's messed up. There we go. Get that in there. Gotta make sure that this metal piece is not here or it will not slide in. You gotta push it back. You don't want it here because it's going to hit this. It has to be right there to slide it. See, now it's slid in. So, well, I have them in now. So now I just have to adjust them where I want. And then what you do to tighten them up so they do not slide is you just screw these in. And when you screw them in, it'll tighten that metal piece right here to hold it in place. Another thing, the way I took this off of the back, they also have them up front. So you could do it. You could put the front one on through the front and the back one on through the back. But I'm just taking, I'm just working from the back because it's easier from the trunk. You can reach stuff standing on the bumper. Plus I have a ladder. And then I'll just get someone else on the passenger door inside to like stand and slide one end while I slide the other end to keep it even sliding it up towards the front. I had someone come out and help me. We have this one in place and now I will slide this one on here okay once you get them where you want them you take this and tighten it up tighten these up so they don't slide just grab this one here tighten this up Once you get that tightened up, you take this. Well, it looks like I gotta slide it up. I didn't bring it up far enough, so. Make sure you bring it up far enough. Just knees back up to adjust it to where it needs to be. Just give it an old tap. I mean, these are tight to put in there. So when you're doing it, don't think it's like broken or anything it's just really tight to slide up there and then snap this baby back on put this one back on there we go and that's it it's done well, i'm going to tighten these screws up too right, like i said i left these loose under here these fill ups in case i had to shift this back and forth a little bit so, I'm going to have to get uh, a little screwdriver, get under here and tighten all those up. But that's it. it uh, I'd say it takes about a half hour or so to put them on. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you. Uh, I wanted to throw in there real quick. If you do not have a short Phillips, if you have a ratchet set, you could always, this is what I'm using to tighten up the screws on the bottom. Thanks for watching.